Hello feeble beings, I am Charlie, it's been a while hasn't it? That's for good reasons as Panda gotten comfortable and better with American Sign Language, the less they need us to step in and speak on their behalf, which kinda makes me proud but then they do a 180 and do this shit. Oh my god, boy, boy got moved. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Fucking Alonzo. Oh. oh right, he's white boy, right, you're not white boy. You're um... What are you again? Hispanic. Right? Let me look at your message. Illegal. <laughs> Panda has something they want to talk about but given the nature of their situation, I will read everything verbatim. So pretend the voice you are hearing is Panda's directly speaking to you. Can I read it? No. Hello, I'm Panda. You probably click on this video and is curious about what I mean about the title and specifically why you will never play it, I will explain what I mean by that much later, though you can skip to it if you want but I advise against that, instead this video will be split up into three sections, when I started playing chill out VR, what are things I love about it, and lastly why you'll may never touch it, with some background footage of whatever I choose, I figured what I want to talk about and discuss would be better if it wasn't done in American Sign Language. I don't want to accidentally skip over a thought and have it lost in translation, as well to keep your retention, and lastly keep the editing at a minimum. Remember this is simply my opinions, and I already created a video talking about Chill Out VR. I started playing Chill Out VR when EAC went live on VR chat, however, we will need to go almost one month before that event. I wish I was kidding but I started VR for the first time ever about a month before VR chat announced EAC. Compared to most people I know, I'm still kind of new to the whole VR social space. From what I can recall my limited time in VR chat was unfortunately just bad. I played roughly 100 hours or less, and most of it was either just staring at a mirror, getting fetishized for my mutism, or meeting less than ideal people. There were a few good moments, and I remember just a single friend simply because they sometimes watch my videos and recently join my server. If you are watching this, Yo. What's up? <laughs> what you doing, son? Ultimately what drove me away from VR chat was just how underwhelming it was. I can recall watching all the old VR chat videos and witnessing how much fun people were having and I wanted to take part in the experience. Only to simply be let down, again, I want to emphasize there were good moments in my short time but the negatives greatly outweighed the positives. So towards the end of the month I wanted to see if there was anything else. The EAC event simply just gave me another reason to try something else out. Eventually I found my way to chill out VR through simply searching. I was already doing YouTube for about two years, I figured I should make videos about it, and the rest is history, literally. To say I genuinely love Chill Out VR is a massive understatement, I don't know the exact number as I'm writing this but I believe I have roughly 400 videos of Chill Out VR alone. I'm 700 hours away from 3k in a span of about 2 years playing almost every single night. The videos I saw of people enjoying their time in VR chat, I'm now doing but with chill out VR instead. From the ABI staff who genuinely enjoy their own game and interacting with their own community, to the two friends who help improve my ASL, who don't gatekeep and are incredibly welcoming to individuals who want to learn, to the people who helped, taught, and encouraged me to learn Unity and Blender. Despite being a small community where on a good day you'll get 60 people in public instances, I learned a lot because of Chill Out VR and that is why I love it so much. Sure props are an amazing tool for individuals like myself, and that modding encourages creativity. You can say the same thing is true about VR chat and I would imagine so, but the difference here was my first couple experiences within each platform. I would imagine if my experience was different with VR chat, I probably would have been a content creator for it, and that's okay. Should you play chill out VR? That is a question only you can answer. The only reason why I play chill out VR is because all my friends are here. The people who I actively see and hang out with. My friends who are actively in my videos and the people I love to be around with. They're all here. We all get around and hang out. Sometimes we learn and improve our sign language together. Play games together or dance in a club. We work out together become a cuddle puddle, 
were work in unity together encouraging one another not to put a bullet in our skull, these things I listed are just some of the reasons why you probably never make the switch to chill out VR, why switch when everyone you know and get along with is in VR chat, why switch when your favorite creators are in VR chat, why switch when there's more content in VR chat, the answer is incredibly simple, if your friends made the switch you would too. You're also probably just a quest user who simply can't. That's an argument a lot of people make for not switching because their friends are on quest. Which is fair, as I too want to experience something new with my friends and if they can't join, I, myself will hold off until they can. Lastly we're simply lazy. Chill out VR in its current state isn't new user friendly. Once you learn how the menu works, what the filter system does, how the CCK works, and what the prop system can do. You'll probably say, I wish VR chat had this. However, that is the issue. You'll need to learn about it and when people play games, they'll go wherever the least amount of effort is at. While the menu is not pretty, the filter, bundle verifier, and guardian system in chillout VR is amazing and should be standard across all platforms. The CCK or content creation kit is lacking in documentation. You'll still need to learn some things about this platform, and when you come home after a long day, you don't want to go through the trouble of learning new things or troubleshoot an issue. Lastly misinformation, I'll keep this part short, you've probably heard something about chill out VR from someone in VR chat and the odds are most of it is probably bad, from no one plays it, to the developers are arrogant pedophiles. Misinformation runs rampant and it's important to remember, look, research, and create your own conclusions instead of relying on others. Not just with social VR but in many other things that you have questions about. So for the sake of combating misinformation, no, as far as I'm aware none of the developers are pedophiles and if they were outed as one, we would absolutely try everything we can do to get them arrested. Though remember this, if someone mentions this ask them why they aren't doing something about it. No one plays chill out VR. This is simply far from the truth. I think my videos are proof of that. Yes there isn't a lot of people on Chill Out VR but that does not mean no one plays it. Just be aware when you get on Chill Out VR, if you hop on at Monday in 2 o'clock of the morning of course no one would be on. There's a lot of things copied over from VR chat that are just lower quality versions. Yes because a lot of people joined Chill Out VR and imported early versions of their worlds, or avatars, and left never coming back to update them, giving the feeling of lower effort worlds when truthfully it was simply abandoned by those creators. Same thing can be applied with avatars too and I need to give a special recognition to individuals like Quake Thorn, Ray Chadolili, Mudson, and Frogo VR, for consistently creating beautiful worlds, variety of avatars for everyone to use, or incredibly fun props to enjoy. Because there isn't as many creators for Chill Out VR it's much more obvious that the old outdated content can be easily seen. Chill Out VR has a terrible visual bug. It actually isn't a bug but going back to old outdated content that many creators left behind. Chill Out VR uses what's known as SPS 1. To keep it short, instead of rendering twice for each individual eye it will render once for both. So older content in Chill Out VR will appear broken and hard to look at. This is not the fault of the ABI team but the individuals who abandon their projects. I love Chill Out VR for many reasons, some I already listed, however, I'm positive that if it wasn't for my friends I would have made the switch back to VR chat or completely step away. So the question I need to ask you, why should I play VR chat? Thank you.